A black business has been burned to the ground, allegedly by Afrikaans-speaking men because they don't belong to wherever the area is. What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing good. It's a beautiful day. Thank you very much. Today, we have to speak about South Africa again. It's just very difficult to avoid talking about South Africa. Um, very interesting. The land of Mandela. We've all been inspired by that great man. So it's something really, really outrageous. We need to talk about this. So a black-owned resort called Bubbles at Artobias Port, engulfed in flames, allegedly by white Afrikaans-speaking residents who have been trying to get rid of the black business owner owner for years. I'm going to give you context. So Artobias Port is a little town, sort of a little town outside Johannesburg, a few hundreds of kilometers outside Johannesburg. Beautiful place, very well maintained, very clean. I've been there once in the past while I was traveling to South Africa. Very, very nice, well organized, beautiful houses, nice dam, uh, beautiful water. It's really amazing to see. You see speed boats, you see tennis courts, you see hotels, guest houses, really well organized. Now, the place is mostly occupied by Afrikaners, African speaking people. Now, African speaking people are white people that came to South Africa many, many years ago uh, in conquest. They did not come to steal from South Africa like most white people in Africa did. They came to stay. Afrikaners are descendants of British mixed with French and Germans and Italians and all that yeah they came to africa they settled in southern africa they came to stay for them that land belonged to them so the Afrikaners today firmly believe south africa is their land because their great grand grandfathers came here long ago they structured the country they built with their intelligence obviously with the help physical help of the blacks and the indians that were imported from india but they firmly believe the land belonged to them because they believe without them south africa would not be what it is today not industrially they believe firmly that south africa with only blacks would be something very similar to this Fast forward, 1994, end of apartheid, Mandela comes out of prison. In many areas where black people were not allowed to be, they could then be, they could exist and open businesses. But many Afrikaners went and settled in some areas where they sort of pulled each other together again. Officially, anybody can stay, but unofficially, they wanted to stay by themselves. You know, while South Africa is happy with the Rainbow Nation, uh, some South African want to stay by themselves. Now, Artobia Sport is one of those places where the majority of people are white Afrikaners and uh, they have their businesses that run really well and in the businesses they, they will accept black client but don't necessarily come and open your business there now that's exactly what is happening here now a raging racial war has intensified within the community in Arthur B. sport after Afrikaans speaking people are accused of attempting to drive out black people who are settling in businesses there so they don't want black people in there this is Africa this is South Africa there are places, not just Orania, we've spoken about Orania before, where no black person is allowed. We're not talking about Orania right now. We're talking about other pouches of South Africa where white have come together. And when the blacks are trying to come together with them, because many South Africans believe in a rainbow nation, I mean, South Africa is supposed to be a rainbow nation where everybody's accepted. Surprisingly, their businesses are being driven out. Two black owned properties have been set on fire recently, with the latest having been burned to the ground on Monday this week. The area, which is predominantly white, has attracted a number of people of previously disadvantaged community to start businesses. Again, this means the area is predominantly white. With time, black people and other people feel like, oh, Mandela came out of jail. Now we are friends and brothers with the white. Let's Let's go next to the white and open our businesses now surprisingly even though it's not said openly people are starting to feel that they don't want you next to them this is also given a rise to racial tension from some of the white communities and over the years the area has witnessed a ugly racial confrontations now let's talk about the late victim the late victim the owner of the business that was burnt down his name is supposedly tabiso matibedi he found his resort a resort brothers his resort bubble which he started in 2018 engulfing flames was 
burning down to the ground. Uh, he said that earlier that day he noticed a man and a younger man fishing next to his property. And these were white people and they fed some of his dogs. So he saw the dogs being fed by these people. Just after the fire, he realized, he said, that they were feeding the dogs because it wasn't the first time. He, he believed they were feeding the dog to build a relationship with the dog. And so that in time they needed to burn his business, they could just come in and do whatever they wanted. Now, this is what he says, I quote him. He says, I could sense that they were up to something. We caught them a couple of times. And the one time I caught them feeding my dogs, meaning they had been feeding the dogs for a while. I only realized that they were building a relationship with my dogs a week after I received a call from my wife that the results was on fire. Now, a lot of people have made many comments about this. He says again, it's been hell because the white community here feels that we don't belong here. They were clear that as a black person, I am not wanted in the dam. And there were no way that I was going to build a business here. And I did it anyway. Bending of bubbles on Monday night is regrettable. And we should not tolerate that. And, and we want bubbles to come back with a bang. We want bubbles to come back much more stronger. Then we will not allow any other people who are against other people's economic right to disturb um, bubbles from its operations. Um, we, we're very saddened um, and, and we, we heard about what happened, but we'll continue to fight. So the brother was told not to build here, but of course, because he's South African and this is the land of his ancestors, he felt like, you know, I can build anywhere. I don't care. I'm going to build here. Clearly, the message is very clear. If you build, we're going to burn it down. We're going to burn it to the floor. So many comments has been made about this, okay? Here is a comment of somebody that says, white people do not want black people in RTP sport because they're going to turn artists into Soweto, Kwamashu, Guguleto, Nyanga, and everything else they occupy. So in other words, he's trying to say, okay, Okay, this is clearly, you can imagine from which side he belongs. He clearly said that the reason why they don't want black people there is because what black South African will do in Artvis, which is a beautiful place, they're going to turn it into what Soweto is, what Langa, Nyanga, Guguletu, Kwamash, which are predominantly black areas, which don't necessarily look good. They're trying to upkeep not only their culture, but also the standard of living. So again, fellas, this is not the very first time. I mean, there are many, many many testimonies here of other businesses that have been shut down in that specific area. This is South Africa, fellas. This is the land of Mandela. Many years of colonialism, further years of apartheid, separation, painfulness, unbelievable trauma. In 1994, while you were going to school, free and all that stuff, South Africa was still under the shackle of apartheid. In 1994, that's when, for the very first time, black kids could go to the same school with a white kid. Black people could eat with white people in the same restaurant. Black people could eventually date and marry a white person, even though you don't really see that. Like one in a million. And, and obviously, the white family is probably going to have a lot of issues with it. And, and even blacks and Indians, you won't see that. White will marry Indians. Indians will marry whites, but you will not see Indian marrying black. Anyway, let's get back on track. So in your land, your ground, there are places you're not allowed. Even though you can legally acquire papers, they say you do not belong here because you're going to change it into what you always build. There's another comment here saying, we do not want them here because all they do is create noise and disorder. That's crazy, fellas. A third comment that says, the all of South Africa is our country. This is clearly a black brother saying, we can stay wherever we want and the flames will not discourage us. So I want to know how you feel about this. I mean, I would expect that things like this would have petitions being signed long time ago. Look, we are all for unity of Africa. And I don't care if you want it. We're going to force you into unity of Africa. No one is being left behind. We are going to force everybody from every country to get back on track, to learn the lecture. Africa has to be one to a level where people can come together with respect. Obviously, criminals will be th thrown in jail. It's not like one will leave one side to go do crime to the other side. I'm up for execution. If people do bad things, execute them. But we are not going to be stopped because of greed. Some people think they are favored. Absolutely not. I don't care from which East, West, South, North Africa is one. We don't know countries. So if your country is in Africa, we're going to talk about it. This is crazy. We, we had the hope to see petitions about things like this. Like a petition. There must be a petition. Now, nobody's been arrested. So they just burnt the thing. I mean, no evidence. Nobody's been arrested. Nobody's interested. People don't talk about it. Not on the news. You know, Chidima made the news. 
She she's she's amazing that little girl. She made the news. Give me that. Uh, this is not on the news. If it's on the news, it's the uh, the dumped news. You know, the, you know, three second news. You can't you can't live like that. It's very simple. Either South Africa is not a rainbow nation. You are lying to yourself. Okay, it's a rainbow nation in your brain because you wish you were accepted. You wish they would treat you equal, but the reality says otherwise. Number two, you clearly not accepted. And as much as they may accept you from a distance, they will accept you as a client. Go buy beer, drink uh, whatever, buy champagne, eat some sausages and leave. That's how they accept you. Not for you to come and be a mate and friend. Absolutely not. Because the reality is showing you otherwise. Now, can you force yourself into a land where you're not accepted? Can you legally do that? Now, maybe that's up to the constitution to look. Can the government do something about it? Can the government force people into living together? That's a good question. Where are the petitions? on holding people accountable that are clearly cr criminals because criminals have no race, okay? But love also has a race, trust me. People love each other based on how they're going to push each other further. Stop lying to yourself. We need maturity. Maturity is understanding where you are, what's happening. What are you going to do about this now? What are you going to do about this? Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure. Please drop a comment. We need you not just to watch. What is nice, but YouTube says you guys watch, you're not subscribed, and you don't comment. Just imagine, very slowly the channel is not moving to the direction we want it to move. And it doesn't justify the presence of the people behind the cameras. So if you like what we present, please do drop a comment. This is not a lecture. I'm not giving you a lecture. I want your opinion, obviously with respect. Let's respect each other, comment appropriately. If you're disrespectful, we have admin that are very disrespectful too. They're going to respond to you based on your IQ. God bless.